Hey, hi everyone, this is Gail here from GailRecommendsForYou.com and I want to show you a, an amazing plugin that uh, you can find here on my website and it's called 10 WordPress Plugins. What there is, there's about 10, well, there's probably a little more now, different kinds of plugins you can put into WordPress to make your WordPress work even better for you. So, um, you just want to hop along there and have a look at um, 10WordPressPlugins.com and um, what I'm going to show you today is just how to install it really quickly. All right, so let's go do that right here and this one that I've just set up. Okay, so we'll come down here to plugins and we go add new. It's a very simple way to install. Now I've already downloaded the plugin, it's sitting on my hard drive and so now I'm just gonna go get it and I'm going to upload it here and uh, mine's, I've, I've renamed it, but yours will be whatever it's called. Okay, so you just go browse and then uh, find it, then install now, and then activate plugin. And that's it. So once that's done, you just have to scroll down here till you find it. And there it is right there. And we're going to go um, campaigns. And it's going to ask us for our information to put in here. Um, and this. Um, password is the password, um, if, sorry, this email address is the email address that you uh, put in when you purchase the product and that's the one you have to put in there. So you have to install that and once that's done, you can then go setting up your options. So we'll come in here quickly, I'll show you what I change in here. Um, I just come down here to randomize, basically that's all I'm going to be doing. And then what else it asks you to do here is put in in your um, Amazon ID. If you've purchased the Amazon product as well, you'll get to do this. If you haven't purchased this plugin, then you'll skip, you won't have this showing. And there's the article one there. And then the ClickBank, you pop your ID in there. Yahoo Answers the same, Yahoo News, and the Twitter, and the Shopzilla. So you'll get to, uh, go in and put in all your IDs and your APIs. And if you don't know what they are, all you have to do is click on the little question mark at the end and click on there and you'll be taken to where you need to go and sign up. So just go away and fill all that out and I'll just go do that now. Once you've got all the uh, filled out, all the bits and pieces that you need to fill out, fill it out and then you go save options and you're ready to go. So now what we're going to do is come down here to create a campaign. And uh, what I've done is um, I've set up a few keywords and, um, and so we're going to just use those keywords. They're not real keywords, okay? They're just some that I found before. So I'm just going to go grab them, copy, here we go, paste them in. What you need to understand is the categories as well. Now what I want to do is every article that comes in with that, talking about that, I want it to go into the same category, all right? So that's why I've set them up like that. And um, then it's set up for, to come in every 29 hours. And you can set that for whatever you want, but be careful that you don't end up having them come in too often. Now here's the issue here. Um, if you don't make these very precise, you're gonna have lots of stuff coming in that has nothing to do with what, you've, what your actual keyword's about. For instance, um, you will get some articles coming in about weight but you'll also get some articles coming in coming about loss and it could be the loss of a loved one or a loss of a dog or a loss of something and you'll get articles coming in about running which is great but see these are individual words they're not exact so I want to make them exact so I've got full control of what's coming in and all you need to do is click on convert all keywords to exact and now you'll see they're all exact now they've all got those little um, um, quotation marks around them so now that's set. Now I'm just quickly going to get a template because they're already set up. So that's the next thing you do. You click on the template button and it loads the template. Now you'll notice now that I actually haven't got a huge amount of things in because I actually deleted some of the um, different products um, that were there originally. I've actually deleted out. And so for instance, um, this one here is no longer there, so I'm going to delete that and put a zero. Because what's going to happen is all these t all these things here must add up to a hundred. So I hope you understand that 
that each, it's given a percentage. Now each thing here is about 14, I think, but I don't want anything from Shopzilla and I don't want anything from press releases on this particular site. I want most things to come from articles, so I'm going to set that at 70%. And then I'm going to come down here and I don't want anything from Amazon, not in this particular site, nor um, in Yahoo Answers. Well, yes, I'm going to go with 30% from there. So that adds up to my 100%. And this one here, I'm going to set at zero as well. And this one, uh, ClickBank, um, I'm going to set it zero. I don't want anything from ClickBank on this site. And that's all I'm going to do, and I'm going to go create a campaign. Now that's done, and now all we do after that is we go to campaigns, and basically it's just going to show us the campaign. Now I just left the name the same, but you could have edited that and changed it to whatever you wanted to do. So all I'm going to do now is click on there and go post now, and hopefully it'll just post something on there for me. So here we go, let's have a look and see what it's done. Well, it didn't create anything for us, so we'll go back and click on it and see what happens this time round. Okay, so everything's set up here now, and what we're going to do is I'll just take you to the uh, front here of the website and you'll see here it is all here. We've got some articles, and that's all we'll have basically coming in. I think we've got a couple of articles, and there might be something way down here from uh, Yahoo Answers as well. And um, maybe that's coming from ClickBank, I think, maybe. So there's some bits and pieces that have come on here all through the um, product that we've just installed on there. So it's pretty darn cool, guys. And uh, it's a very, very powerful program. And I suggest that uh, you have a wee play with it and also watch the rest of the videos, which I will give a link to in my blog. So thank you guys for watching this. If you want to go to gailrecommendsforyou.com and purchase either one or two, you don't have to purchase the whole lot, just some of the plugins. This will help your website really stand out and you'll get articles coming in, great fresh articles. This is Gail here from gailrecommendsforyou.com signing off and thanks for watching.